everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, thank you for joining us at the Roddy channel. My name is Colin Bracken and I'm an owner of three Rottweilers and on this channel you're going to see tips, tricks, helpful advice, answering questions, live videos, daily life in the owner of a Rottweiler, what it's like to live in the life of a Rottweiler and pretty much I, I started this channel just to help you guys out as Rottweiler owners answer any questions that you have and to uh, to give some more insight on what it's like living with these guys. So. This is Kenai right here. He is our oldest one in the pack. He's six years old next month. Huh, buddy? Huh? Huh? This is Fluffy right here. Over here in the corner, there's Kida. What's up? What's up? You want to come up here and interview with me? No? <laughs> sure, you can come up here. Kenai. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Arr, arr. Alrighty guys, so in today's video we are going to be going over the question that you guys have asked. Are these guys a good breed to get for a first time owner? And I just really quick want to say that I'm not here to protect feelings today. I'm not here to BS with you guys. We don't have time for that. I care about you guys more than that and I care about these guys more than that. So the first thing that I want to say is as a general rule of thumb, Getting a dog, no matter what the size is, is a big deal, okay? You're not getting a puppy, you're getting a lifetime commitment. You've heard that before if you're returning to the channel, but this is a real deal. You need to not take that lightly, okay? These guys are a lifetime commitment. With that being said, usually, the bigger the dog, the bigger the responsibility, okay? Now, with that being said, like, you know, there are pit bulls are generally a medium sized dog and they are a lot of work, okay? Now, like I said, it's not gonna be 100%. The bigger the dog you get, the harder it gets. That's not always the case. You got hair all over me. That is something that you're gonna have to get used to with this breed. They do have a double coat and they do shed a lot. But with that being said, I could talk about these guys all day. So I'm not going to waste any time. I got a script typed up that I have here, and I'm going to try and stick to this as much as possible. If you guys have any questions past this, go ahead and comment them down below or hop on one of our live videos. I try to do one of those a week now, and if you have any questions, you're welcome to ask, ask them there. I've been a Rottweiler owner for nine years, and there's still things that I can learn and pick up as a dog owner. I've had other dogs as well. I've had pit bulls. I've had a Rottweiler pit bull mix. Mostly, my forte is Rottweilers. I had a Doberman, but Kenai right here has been with me since he was a little tiny puppy, and the thing is, is they take a lot of work. I don't always know the answer, and sometimes I've even had to research and all the time I have to research. I look up, I study the dogs, I watch other videos, I watch training videos, I watch how-to videos. I learn things about the breed that I still don't know. So that's gonna be something that's hard to do because us as owners like to think that we do everything right. You know, it's our way or the highway because they can't really tell us otherwise, wrong. You need to make sure that you are researching daily. You're reaching out to other Rottweiler owners, joining Rottweiler groups on Facebook, making sure that you're getting answers to your questions because that's what's fair to these guys, okay? Your development as a dog owner and leader and alpha to these guys is solely gonna be what these guys turn out. You've heard the saying, you get what you put in. That's exactly what you're gonna get with this breed, okay? They are intelligent. They remember everything, okay? If you yell at them, if you're hitting them, if you're, if you're being rude to these dogs, they're gonna remember that. And then when it comes down to it, the second that they can get away from you, they're going to. The second that they somebody else comes over to the house, they're going to run to them instead of you because they're scared of you. Don't do that, okay? Teach them. Train them. Learn with them. Grow with them. Be the person that they run to and not away from. Okay, so a lot of times I hear people asking, can this breed be aggressive? Are they hard to walk on a leash? Uh, if you don't train them properly, yes. Just like with a, with, with a human. If they don't have the proper love, care, and training to be a decent person, they're not a decent person. Like, it's really that simple. Now, the reason why I will say that a Rottweiler is not the greatest dog for a first time owner without experience is because you got to imagine, Kita has been this size since she was one year old, okay? Now, she was probably 80 pounds by the time she was seven or eight months old, and if she comes in the house with full force and jumps on somebody who's not prepared for it, they'll knock you over. If you don't teach your dogs not to jump on everyone that walks in the house, they will get the bad rep. They're aggressive. They push people over, you know? Like, if you don't teach them the right way not to chew on furniture and stuff, they will, they will tear your whole house and couch apart. 
okay? These guys even still have act, or incidents where, you know, I leave Fluffy in the house, I don't give him enough tension for too long, and he'll start tearing stuff up. He wants a job to complete, and to him, sometimes that's the job. If I don't give him something to do, it'll happen. Another thing that you're going to have to be prepared for as a Rottweiler owner is these guys need a lot of time and attention. In my opinion, more time and attention than a lot of other dogs. I can't say every dog because I don't know, but like Kita right now wants all my attention, okay? The other dogs are kind of laying in the backs of the corners of the room, but uh, if you aren't ready to give them that time and attention, like some people will ask me, okay, I work eight hours a day, what am I supposed to do? That's fine. but. Are you coming home after work? Okay, everyone has to work. Like, I, I don't really know. I personally don't know of too many dog owners that don't have a job. Like, how are you affording your house, your dogs, all that stuff? Now, some people have a spouse or stuff that stays home or kids that stay home with the dogs, you know, up until the point where they go to school or things like that or during times like this in COVID where people are doing school from home. What you want to make sure is that you are minimizing the time that your dogs are spending alone. They need, look, they need that personal interaction. They need humans to tell them what to do. They want to please their owners. If you're going to get a dog to leave it in a kennel all day while you're at work and then come home and you're going to leave it in the kennel, you're going to let them outside to go to the bathroom and then put them back in the kennel, please, 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 please do us, do them, and do yourself a favor by just not getting one. That's a waste of a dog's life, okay? Imagine if you were locked in a kennel all day, someone came home, let you go to the bathroom, gave you some food, and then put you back in the kennel. You would not enjoy that. They don't either. Now, with that being said, I'm not against kennels, okay? I think a kennel should be a bedroom for a dog where they run to, where, you know, when they have a bone, they take it to their little bedroom. You know, like when, uh, when, uh, when I was young, I would go to my room to play Xbox, and then I would go hang out with the family. I would go to school. I would go do all these other things, and I would go out and have interaction, socialization. That is such an important thing for Rottweilers. I, I, you need that interaction and socialization, and they do too. And if you think that they don't, you could not be more wrong. So that pretty much goes into uh, socialization, spending time with your dog, and you've got to be prepared to give them all the training in the world, okay? If something's not working, adjust what you're doing. It doesn't mean that you are not properly training them, but it means that what you're doing with them isn't really working. So what might work for my dog may not work for somebody else's dog because of the background of the dog, but that doesn't mean you can't make adjustments. Every dog is trainable. In my opinion, every single dog and human is trainable to be a great dog, a good dog, a bad dog, a good person, a great person, or a bad person, okay? Make sure that you're willing to give them the time and energy that it's going to take to train them, and most importantly, practice patience. I get asked the question a lot, are Rottweilers aggressive? The answer is they can be without proper training, okay? The biggest reason why Rottweilers have the bad rep is because they are a strong, powerful dog that will do anything to protect a home, a property, or a human being, or another dog in their pack. So something that you want to remember is you need to take responsibility for your dog. If your dog gets out and bites someone, they're not going to sue your dog. Okay? They're going to euthanize the dog and you're going to get sued and you're going to be responsible for that dog. So you need to remember that when things are good, it, you're the responsible one. When your dog is well trained, it's not just on the dog. They are amazing dogs, but it goes back to the owner. Okay, People say all the time like, oh, how are your dogs so well trained? How are your dogs so well trained? How are, are all Rottweilers? What? No, they're not. All Rottweilers are intelligent enough to be trained like that, but some of them are aggressive and some of them can be aggressive and some of them are the biggest cuddle bugs ever. It's up to you what your Rottweiler becomes and it's a direct reflection of you. Just real quick, I wanna pause this video and stop the amazing content that we're bringing to you guys. I wanna say thank you for all the love and support this channel has got. We just hit 4,000 subscribers this morning on YouTube. Thank you guys for making this happen. Stick around for after the video because it did snow this morning and we're gonna go play outside and I wanna bring you guys along and show you guys what the dogs look like playing in the snow. This is the first time I think that we've had this much snow this year, so I can't wait to bring you guys along. Let's get back to the video. <laughs> Something that you also need to remember if you're getting yourself into this breed is they are lap dogs, okay? 
They're going to hop up in the bed with you. They're going to hop up on your lap. That can be trained against. I personally don't. I like the big lap dogs. I think it's awesome that they will come and sit on my lap. I think it's awesome that they'll come and sit on the chair with me while I edit videos or, you know, right next to me or they'll lay down in front of me and they'll put their paw up on my leg. Like, I, I really do enjoy that, but it's gonna have to be something that you get used to. Now, um, another thing I wanna talk about for first time owners is shedding, okay? These dogs are gonna shed. It's gonna be up to you as an owner. Like, I feel like everything I'm saying is tying back to this. Um, <laughs> you're responsible for how much they shed, okay? Now, no, you're not responsible for the hair coming out of their fur, that's just a natural thing. Are you brushing them weekly, bi-weekly, every day, even, you know, five minutes a day? Are you giving them the bath time that they need? Are you grooming them properly? Are you going to be willing to clean up after them? Are you going to be willing to clean up the dirt or mud that they track in the house, okay? They can't just take off their shoes when they walk in the house like we can. People, everybody wants to blame the dog. I like to blame the owner. I like to give respect to owners where it's due. And I also like to self-reflect, okay? If my house is a mess and I blame it on my dogs, it's simply just me not cleaning the house, okay? Now, I am a single dad of three Rottweilers. I do work 70 plus hours a week, and I do have two YouTube channels that I work on. My house is not always the cleanest. That lies on me. I can't be like, oh, the dogs just make my house dirty. Yeah and no, okay? It's like when somebody says, oh, you need to do the dishes, okay? You made the dishes, you can do them. If you don't, it's not the dish's fault. Like, dishes don't dirty themselves. Dogs will be as clean as you want them to be, okay? There, there's going to be accidents. You're going to have to understand that. You're not going to have a puppy and not have accidents in the house. If you believe that, you're just... It's unrealistic. It just really is. I'm gonna be, Like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm, not gonna, I'm probably not going to be saying the things that you want to hear today, but I'm being as brutally honest as I can, okay? These guys are the best companions ever, but they do come with some cons and it's going to happen, okay? So if you guys are willing to get into the breed, I think it is, if, if with everything being said today, you guys are still willing to get into the breed, I think they're a great first time dog. If you like this video so far, please smash the like button, drop a subscribe on the channel and ask questions because I'd love to help out more Rottweiler owners. I would love for this channel to reach a million people, okay? So far, in five months, we have reached 170,000 views. We've got 4,000 subscribers, and we are just getting started. I'm, I'm just learning how this YouTube thing with the dogs works. I'm just getting into answering all the comments. I'm just, I want to be there for you guys, okay? So if you're going to get into the breed, do yourself a favor. Drop a subscribe on this channel. Don't forget to like it. Turn that bell notification on so you don't miss out on any videos. And don't forget to share this video with any friends who want to get to know the breed or need to get to know the breed. If you hear somebody talk about how bad and aggressive Rottweilers are, yelling at them, calling them an idiot is not going to do any good but make us owners look bad. Okay? What's going to help change the name of this breed is you and me properly training, learning, researching, and respecting the power that this beautiful breed has. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I can't wait to see you on the next one. Peace out. Come give me a hug. Give me a hug. Oh, oh, good boy. Good boy. Big hug. Big hug. Oh, oh. <laughs> Big hug. Can you see it? No. Down. No. Down. Down. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Lay down. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Up. Up. Come on. Up. Good boy. Stay. Shake. Oh, shake. Good boy. Other paw. Good boy. Okay, let's go this way so you can see a little better. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Stay. Shake. Other paw. Good boy. Lay down. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Oh, you guys are so good. You guys are so good. You guys are so good. Ah.
As you guys can see, all the snow, my neighbor Gus came over to help plow the driveway, and so we're gonna go talk to him real fast, and then we're gonna take these guys outside to uh, play in the snow. So let's go talk to Gus and see what's going on. Got my heated jacket on because it is freezing out here. Let's go see what Gus is up to. Oh my gosh. He took and shoveled my my driveway. He's already plowed my whole driveway over there. He's plowed right here out in front of my house. It looks like he came and shoveled here around my truck. And he started to plow. He's already been moving snow right here. And he started to plow up to my house. What a great guy. I will put Gus in Snapchat. You can add him and tell him he's a good guy. Let's get a shout out right now for Gus. Drop down and thank Gus for uh, coming to the to the driveway and clearing us out for us because you don't you just don't get good neighbors like that very often, you know? I'm I'm very blessed to have the neighbors that I do. And the legend himself, Gus. Shout out to him for coming and helping us with the driveway. What's up, buddy? What? You just out plowing driveways today? That's all I do when it snows. Thank you. Oh. Gus is a longtime supporter of my personal channel and the dog's channel. Being a neighbor, what do you think of Rottweilers? We're filming a video today on are Rottweilers a good first time breed? And I think the answer is yes and no, but what do you think of Rottweilers knowing mine? Um, they're kind of scary, <laughs> just because you see them in GTA and like the hood and stuff, but like yours like way nice and everything. There's no a lot there, a train. Yep, so. I think uh, I think that was the biggest thing that we touched on today in the video, that with proper training, they are not a dangerous breed, but without proper training, they are a dangerous breed. So right there, there's another opinion if you didn't believe mine as it is. What a great blessing to have such amazing neighbors. Oh my gosh. I. I just really can't describe how great that is. Let's go play. Let's go play. Let's go play. Where's Fluffy? Fluffy. Oh, he's out here. Whoop. I'm all looking for him and he's out here. All right. So, <laughs> Mama, are you excited? Are you excited, Mama? What are you doing? What are you doing, honey? What are you doing? What are you doing? Sit. Stay. Whoa, easy. Easy. Hey, take it easy. All right, here we go. What's up, Kenai? You don't want to go play? All right, you guys want this? Fluffy passed it up. Passed it up. Bring it here. Bring it here. Bring it here. What are you guys doing? We got Kenai, Fluffy, and Kita. All right. Oh, we still got a tag on here. Let's get that tag off. There we go. Okay. You ready? You ready? Bring it back. Bring it back. Good boy. Nope. Come here. Come here. You eating snow over there? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it, pretty lady? Arr. What is it, Kenai? What is it? Where'd your toy go? Where's your toy at? Where's your toy? Where's your toy at? Huh? 
Bring it to me. Arr, no. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll get it myself. Keith is coming to protect me. She thinks that we're fighting. What's up? What's up? Shit. High five. Good boy. Good boy. High five. Good boy. Okay, other paw. Good boy. Good boy.